get much done with these guys around. Pretty gentle cows. <laughs> so today, today, we are going to finish this job up. I'm sorry, I got, got you in the sun there. I thought we would finish yesterday, but we found a few more trees and we had to make sure we could get permission to go through the little easement before we could uh, just run right down there and cut them. So trying to herd cows here. I've got the gate open and I don't want them. I'm trying to escape them. Come on, come on. Honor things. So yeah, we'll uh, get the last of them today. Then we'll sort. Then I've got to look at timber tomorrow afternoon and this afternoon. I've got to go to Jasper, Missouri this afternoon and Kansas City, Missouri tomorrow afternoon at my Worlds of Fun. Shouldn't that be fun? Anyway, let's see if we can get some trees out. Here they are. Trouble right there. You get here close to the creek, which is just right there. They're everywhere. And these here, these still got quite a bit of quite a bit of strength in them. They're not just going to break over like some of the ones we've been seeing. Oh, hello. I guess we'll start with you. I think there's only six walnut down here. I believe there's a couple little guys, but you know, trees like that, they need to grow. They're in a good place to grow down here. Down the road, 10 years when this place is harvested again, give or take. That'll be a really good tree. See another one of those walnuts straight out there. So somebody made the comment, had, had a quite the day of commenting yesterday. Uh, of course, we, we had a tree hugger get on there and tell us how what we were doing was bad and that all you guys are bad for watching this because you're just promoting this activity that we're doing, this, this juvenile stuff of murdering trees and uh, helping global warming or some whack job liberal nonsense i don't know uh then when we had a gentleman saying that uh going through and just cutting our walnut was not a good stewardship of the land i i don't know what just going through and be selective with your species has to do anything but uh i like to think we're pretty good stewards of the land by how we leave things i don't know just my thoughts just my thoughts anyway dad's filling up there at the ranger I'm going to try to get a head start on him so I can get in on some of the action today. Probably shouldn't even have cut this one, but it wasn't going to get any better. I kind of figured it'd cut bad when I seen this hole at the base of it in the back. Pretty good hole. So, my first attempt was to cut off about four foot of it. 
didn't really clean up it did a little bit but you can see here uh, still pretty bad so took another two still pretty bad hit two took another 18 inches looking a little better it's still got shake ring right here but I think we can slip that on by so just a tree like that I mean right now it's either get something for it while you can or let it go to nothing and just be a habitat tree which judging by this timber stand here there's probably enough habitat trees anyway this little elm here there's a lot of a lot of trees in here kind of rough and it's not really a big timber it's been logged before and it's primarily hackberry down here some ash a little bit of hickory uh, a few walnut growing some smaller walnut of course the ones we just cut but it's a it's a pretty young stand all in all it's there's not a lot of big timber in here which is a good sign is a bad sign i mean yeah i wish there was a lot of big timber but the good thing is it, it is a young stand and it's growing good it'll grow really good down here in this little bend of the creek so we'll back up here i'll grapple this one i got another one waiting out here i'll take with me that's the last tree of the job right there last tree of the job so we'll get these things out here dad's probably already out there right now marking them i'll get them bucked we'll go park the skitter then we're going to sort some logs with the uh 333 try to do things like this by putting logs in the road ditch like this but it was kind of the only option in this instance they, they won't be here very long and I'm even thinking about taking the skid steer and trying to flip them across the hot wire here uh, luckily there's not a lot of traffic on this road that's one thing that makes me feel a little better about the decision to do this um, Klein owns both sides of the road here so like I said, it's not something we generally do, but sometimes it's, it's kind of the only option, more or less, so that's why we've done it here. I think there's 10 trees. Another job in the books. Pretty good pile of logs down through there. Tomorrow, I will come back in the morning and I'll sort all these. I was gonna do it this afternoon, but I've had one appointment to look at some timber, and then I made another appointment for uh, another venture I'm into this afternoon as well. So uh, we'll just push this back till the morning, then from here we'll go on to Kansas City. But with all the rain they're calling for, you can see where there's been a few soft spots right here under this hill where all the water drains. So I went ahead and moved the trailer up here going to bring the ranger up here and leave it. I've got the skitter parked over there close to the road where we can load it out pretty easily so the skid steer I'm not too worried about obviously. Guys if you don't have one of these rangers in your operation you need one. I honestly could not imagine logging without one again. 
they're just they're just so handy. Just like having a little truck you can throw all your stuff in the back of and they get around so good, they run down the road good. For us they're they're multi-purpose because we can look at timber with them. Of course we don't have any saws in the back right now, but usually we keep saws, gas and oil, hammer wedge, axes, you name it, we keep it in the back. It's definitely a Guys, that's it for today. Short video, but done with another job. I cannot begin to tell you how thankful we are for all the clients that put their trust in us to harvest their timber. I know I say it all the time, but uh, I mean it, and it truly means the world to Dad and I to, to be you know, able, able to do the things we do week after week, month after month, and year after year. It, uh, it, it truly is great to not only make good working relationships but also make friends with a lot of the people we work for and that's that's one of the things that makes this job so great anyway guys thanks a lot we're gonna go eat lunch early lunch today about 11 45 ish then i'm gonna go look at some timber hopefully uh get something else lined up for down the road and then tomorrow probably try to do a video tomorrow eh, be skid steering video nothing real exciting not that any of my videos are that exciting and nerve-wracking anyway but uh yeah be sure to check us out on facebook instagram you can follow my personal page on instagram at the dan turner that's where i post some of the stuff i do in my everyday life besides just logging which it's still mostly logging but there's some other stuff besides logging not that i live that exciting of a life anyway but that's where you can find me guys thanks so much we'll see you later Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.